Hi, welcome. In this video, we will solve the following problem. Suppose Pooja and Priya play the following game in which they toss a coin in every round. If it's hit, then Priya gives Pooja $1. And if it stays, then Pooja gives Priya $1. If Pooja originally starts with $8 and Priya originally starts with $3, uh, let's assume, uh, for, for simplicity, uh, let's assume without loss of generality that A is greater than B. We want to find what is Pooja's chance of winning all of Priya's money. We will assume that the game will continue until one of the person has lost all her money. So let's, let's see how to find it. In order to solve this problem, we are going to define PK as the probability that Pooja will win from the state in which she has k dollars. We can represent the state space uh, in the form of a line here. Uh, this is uh, the current state of the world in which Pooja has a dollars. This is a state in which she has a plus one dollars. This is a state in which she has a plus two dollars and so on and so forth. And this is the terminal state, you know, where, where she's going to uh, win uh, all of Priya's money. Uh, this is also the terminal state uh, where she's going to uh, lose to Priya uh, all her money. Uh, so this is a state in which Priya will win uh, all, all of Pooja's money. Okay. Uh, in every round, when we are going to toss a coin, uh, either we are going to move to a state uh, ahead of A or we are going to move to a state before A. Uh, so basically, if Pooja is going to win the first round, then she's going to move from A to A plus one dollars. And if she's going to lose the first round, then she's going to move from A to A minus one dollars. So uh, clearly, if Pooja is here uh, in, in state A plus B, then she already has all of Priya's money. So uh, probability uh, that uh, she's going to win all of Priya's money uh, from the state A plus B is one because she already has all of her money. Now, if you're going to go back one step, okay, and we're going to evaluate the probability that she will win all of all of Priya's money, starting from the state when she had a plus b minus one dollars, then the probability of that happening is uh, half into p a plus b plus half into p a plus b minus two. Because if she's here, which is a plus b minus one, then with half probability she's going to move to this state, which is a plus b. And with half probability, she is going to move to the state which is a plus b minus two. So p a plus b minus one is equal to half into p a plus b plus half into p a plus b minus two. Uh, this kind of reasoning applies to any state k where k is between one to a plus b minus one. So we can actually write this as p k equals half p k plus one plus half p k minus one for all k. There is an equivalent way in which we can write this. So uh, since all these are same, because this is true for all k, so uh, the difference uh, between pk plus 1 minus pk is same for all k. So what we can do is uh, we can just call this number theta, okay, and then consequently, uh, you know, uh, p1 is going to be theta uh, because p0 uh, we know is 0. The reason is because if we are in the state, there is no way that Pooja can win all of Priya's money because Pooja has already lost all her money if she is in the state. Okay, so P0 is 0, so P1 is going to be uh, uh, theta plus P0, so it's 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 going to be theta. Uh, so if you want to continue like this, then Pk can be written as k times theta because uh, P2 in that case is going to be P2 minus P1 equals theta so p2 is equal to p1 plus theta so p2 will be 2 theta and if you want to continue like this we're going to get pk equal to k theta so we now know that uh, pk is k theta for all k between 1 and uh, a plus b uh, we also know that pa plus b is 1 and uh, by this particular equality we know that uh, pa plus b is equal to a plus b times theta so a plus b times theta is equal to 1 which further implies that theta is equal to 1 over a plus b. So if you're going to start from state k, then the probability with which she's going to win all of Priya's money is k upon a plus b. And since k is a, uh, this particular probability is a over a plus b 
and uh, because a is greater than b so this 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 particular expression a over a plus b is also greater than half which makes sense uh, because she had more money to begin with uh, than priya so obviously uh, every round is a fair round so it's it's more likely that she's going to win uh, all of priya's money than 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 priya thank you